everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you all here with me today. So today I'm going to be making a couple postcards and I was thinking I might make them doing the grid gluing that I've been doing because that is so much fun. I have these um, postcard blanks here. You can get them on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description box down below. But, it, you know, it just has the stuff here and the other side is blank. And these are four inches by six inches. So you can make these yourself. You don't have to buy them. But I personally like having this on the back. So I buy them. I bought them in bulk of like 100 or something. And they're, they're pretty thick. All right, guys. Let's get started on this postcard. Okay, full transparency. I lost some of the footage. I don't know what happened or how it happened. It just did. And I'm so sorry about that. But you will get to see, um, the only thing that I missed was actually <laughs> a big chunk of me collaging the postcard. Um, I decided just to upload the video anyways because you still see what I'm doing and you guys have been watching me do the grid gluing for some time. So as I mentioned in the beginning, I decided to put, see, this is what happened. <laughs> I covered it in purple and then I started collaging and I don't know where that footage went. I, I honestly have technology, you guys. It's, I don't know. It's just one of those days. And so I'm just going to let it go and just move on. So what I did here is I just had a bunch of those like one inch by two inch, um, strips here. And I collaged them on my postcard that I covered in purple paper first. It was a thin paper, like a purple, uh, computer paper, printer paper. So I did that. And then I added all of my little squares and I did cut up a couple more pieces of six by six, but I've just been keeping all the little rectangles and squares and all that kind of stuff on my desk because I've been doing so much grid gluing. And so you'll see, I kind of have, um, it's like organized chaos right there. I have them kind of organized in my mind, I see, I know how I have it organized on there. It doesn't look organized to you guys, but it is to me. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of trimming the pieces down and making them fit. And I used a couple different types of paper here. And oh my gosh, you guys, you guys know I'm not the biggest purple lover, but this is so gorgeous. I cannot wait to send this out. Oh, so pretty. So I went in with Keely's book. I'll put it in the description box down below. I also have her butterfly book, which I'm going to break out here in a minute. Um, love her books. These are so beautiful. Oh my gosh, the illustrations and the paper and everything. I really, really love her books like so much. You have no idea. So I'm going through and I'm looking for some purple images and trying to decide how I want to add uh, images to this. I really liked the way it looked by itself, so I didn't want to take away from that. So I went through and I cut out a few different purple flowers and then kind of auditioned them on the page, if you will. Just kind of cutting those out and then I'll fussy cut them and see what fits where. So I was showing here that I decided to cut off that leaf because I was going to put it in that one of the tall strips there, one of the uh, vertical strips and having the leaf on it would have just been way too wide. So that's why I did that. So those are the three and now I'm going to fussy cut them and here they are. And I actually stopped fussy cutting because I put this one down and I just fell in love and I, I couldn't, I couldn't think of anything else. And you know how that is when you just find the piece and it just, it worked. So I decided to just glue it down because I loved it so much. This probably is one of my favorite postcards I've ever made. And it's so simple. It's nothing fantastic, but I just, I don't know. It just really speaks to me. It's very pretty. So now I'm going through um, all my Timu words here and just kind of finding some of the purple ones or in the purple family. And I wanted to just add some po positive um, word sentiments on here. So I added live, create, tell the story. I added take risks and practice kindness. I just thought, you know, it's kind of fun to just add some positive things on there. For funsies, I have the words, why not use them? I've just been really getting into adding just like sprinkling positivity on everything. I don't, I don't it's just, it's addictive. Let me tell you, once you start training your brain to think positive and do positive things, it just, it keeps happening. It's amazing. 
So I added all of those. They look really good because there's they're purple as well. Different shades of purple too, each one. And then I thought, oh, I'll add some stickers. And I have these here and I was going to fussy cut around them. But then I decided, no, those are too cartoony. I really don't want to use those. So this is where Keely's other book comes into play. And her the other one is um, Butterflies. The whole book is Butterflies, you guys. It is amazing. I'll link that one down below too. So here it is, a thousand uh, butterflies cut and collage. Look at all these butterflies. Oh my gosh. I just could look through this book all day long. So I decided to go with the first one that caught my eye and that was it. And what I'm doing here is I'm putting a cutting mat underneath and I have this pen. It's not technically a pen. I got it from Timu. It's retractable and it's a little blade. And this is how I've been cutting out the middle of my books when I want an image. So I don't like cut through the, all the paper and have to go around all the images. Works so good. Highly recommend. Um, my sister bought me some too. She came over the other day for Jackson's birthday and she's like, hey, I bought you these for Christmas and they took forever to get here. Here you go. <laughs> I was like, yes, I love these things. So I decided to leave the antennae on the uh, butterfly. Normally I cut them off and then I just add my own, but sometimes I do like to kind of fussy cut around them. I think that looks kind of whimsical and cute as well. So that's what I did here. All right, everyone, that's going to conclude today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video. I really appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. All the cool kids are doing it. Have a fabulous day. Don't forget to drink your water. It is so important, girl. I got you. Drink your water. Have a fabulous day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, friends.